Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Welcome to the first episode of 2021. We hope for a better year because 2020 was a bit bad. A bit? It was pretty f***ing terrible. F***ing, can you see that? I can... Boop. Okay. So, let's get this year started with good magic and let's watch your submissions. So our first submission is from Wok and let's see what it looks like. So let's see what it looks like. Thank you so much for the submission, Walk. That was really done. I have to be honest, I had to walk to mute the, the music to watch the video. It was a bit distracting. I mean, I understand that you may want to perform, you know, without speaking and have the background music, but this is too much. I mean, it takes away from your magic. So it's fine to do it, but with a different music track, yeah, a bit more subtle. Yeah, it was really, you know, club-like, you know, very, yeah. very beady for a... Uh, it was distracting, but yeah. it's okay. Another thing we have to mention is that you're subtitling literally, you have actual subtitles, but that's okay because you obviously yeah. wanted to share something, but you're subtitling in your subtitles. Yeah, you're actually saying that what you're doing, I'm going to shuffle yeah. the cards, I'm going to cut the cards. Again, find reasons to make the, the actions or your pattern actually yeah. to illustrate what you're doing without saying it. Yeah. And I mean, you could just skip that. It's a non-verbal video. You could just, you know, perform it yeah. and skip the subtitles altogether, and it will, it will still work. But okay. So then, uh, near the beginning, you need to take a, a break. Yeah, take a break, and you cut the deck to do you, it. Yeah, you got to do it. And uh, again, this is I think this, this telegraphs that something is about to happen, or yes. you're preparing for something. It looks like you're preparing. It's much more natural to. Do the same thing with the overhand shuffle mm -hmm. and then uh, jog. Yeah, so that's our proposal. Then uh, you need to get rid of the top card. We're allowed to say this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you say that the card is not on the top, it's not on the middle, and you place them. Yeah, for me, this. It's a bit overproving. Yeah. But I, I think it flies by. I mean, here, here's my, my problem with that. And uh, it's that. You're placing a card in the middle of the deck, and then you're saying it's not on top, it's not on bottom. 
I, I, I believe my, my, my opinion is that you know it's obvious for the layman. Don't, don't think about what magicians think, but a layman, when you go like, I'll take your card and put it in the middle, it's in the middle. If I say it's not at the top, the mind goes like, Why would it be? So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, actually, know. actually, you're right. Yeah, it's a bit. I mean, I get that you did it, you know, to yeah, to evoke, to sense. you know, yeah. to make the effect work, but he has a point that I mean, I mean, it would be better if you say, say the same thing. Like, uh, for instance, you know, when you put the card on, on, on the middle, uh, don't, don't, you can, you know, mention that I, I'm not going to bring it to the top or something and just... That's better. Yeah. Like, do see something else that, that it's not, where it's not supposed to be, yeah. you know. Yeah, because with. why would it be there? Yeah. So, yeah. Then, at some point you cut the cards. Uh, like, oh, yeah. the selections are supposed to be... In, in the middle of the deck, and then you cut, which would bring them either to the bottom or the top of the deck. Yeah, or near the top of yes. You and you like... say, so the cards are in the middle, but they're not anymore because yeah. you, because you did the cut. Yeah, because it's, it's supposed to be here, for instance. You go like yeah. it's somewhere in the middle, and you go like. So it's not in the middle anymore. Yeah. So. So you need the cut, but maybe you could do a. Can I say it? Can I say the move? Pass. Yeah, you could do something like that. So, yeah. Then, you, uh, near the end, it was a nice kicker that you made the cards red. Oh, I never see that coming. Actually, it was really nice. You justified putting the coin away in order to yeah. get ready for what you were about to do. It was really a smart move. Yeah, but I think, and it's on your subtitles, if you presented it as, you know what, and the cards were red this whole time, it's more impressive yeah. than if you say, and let's make them red to be unique. Yeah. Because it's like you, you're doing something at this point where you could hide your whole movement by saying, and these were red the whole time. You know yes, what I mean? It makes more sense. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Also at the end where you have the two cards and the spread is, looks like a smiley face and I think yeah. that's a beautiful display. Yeah, it's a beautiful display and I also love the idea that you kept the selections on the top left of the screen. Oh yeah, for, so, for, yeah, for us to remember. That's a great idea. So yeah, very nice submission overall. Thank you so much. Yeah. So this next submission is from Kamal Nath and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is from Kamal Nath and let's see what he did. So this next video is from Kamal Nath and let's see what it looks like. Nice. Thank I, you so much, Kamal, for the submission. I feel like we're doing tips and tricks dance edition today. Yeah, it is. It Why is, is everyone having <laughs> dance mu dance music play? Bef you know. Anyway, it's your choice. Yeah. I'll it's say good. it again. I find this kind of music distracting when you're performing magic yeah. magic tricks. It's not really fitting, but it's your choice. So you start with the ring. Yeah. And the premise is that you remove a, a coin from inside the ring. Produce, yeah. From... Which is beautiful, but then you kind of forget about it. And then it's just, you know, random moves with a coin. They're great moves. We, we're very impressed Absolutely. with your skills. But we would love to see like a full routine with like maybe the coin going back into the ring. And actually, our good friend Danny Goldsmith has a routine exactly like this. It's called Charmed. It's on uh, illusions.com. The project is called Silversmith and it has many, many routines and one of them is exactly what we just yeah. described. I mean, yeah, because you begin, it's such a powerful moment when you take out the ring and then you have a coin yeah. uh, appearing out of it and then you, you feel that there's a connection between them. Yeah. You just put away the ring and do the coin stuff. It's just like, you know, a little bit 
You just take a look at Charmed, take some inspiration out of it, yeah. and you know, uh, keep it in mind. Also, <laughs> can, can I say that? Because yeah. I always see Instagram magicians do that. People are being uh, surprised by their own magic. They yeah. some, used to do something and vanish and be like, okay, <laughs> what the hell was that? You know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's overdone. I mean, you know, you can. Uh, your expression is, uh, if you don't use a script or a pattern, your face is what you're feeling, what you're saying. So you can use it much many ways. Yeah, you should not be surprised. You're like, oh, this worked. I mean, yeah. this really <laughs> makes sense. It should work. Yeah, it should work. Yeah. You're the one doing it. If you had the script like uh, it's a magical coin and oh, it's vanished, then it yeah. would make sense, but not like this. Uh, during the pandemic, I mean, and in general, but they just say during the pandemic, yeah. it's not, you know, it's very, you know, pulling stuff out of your nose and putting them back in. And it, it's not something that the spectators will enjoy much because yeah. people yeah. are afraid, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it uh, COVID safe in yeah. your performance. I mean, it's a very old, you know, trick. I mean, everybody used to do this, but... Your technique, though, nonetheless, was beautiful, was expertly yeah. uh, performed. And thank you so much for that submission. Yeah, it was beautiful. If you had some other track playing the background enough with the music i'm sorry it <laughs> distracts me but yeah beautiful moves yeah. thank you for your, your submission so this next submission is from ian Fu, and let's see what it looks like Thank you so much for the submission, Ian, and for heaven's sake, how did you manage to pull that off? I mean, this is a huge deck you're, you're that, using. That, I mean, that looked like a brick, man. It is like a brick. It is... I. Um, let's start with this. Let's start yeah. with this. Send us your address. You're going to send you a new deck of cards. Yeah. You need a new deck of cards, right? Yeah. It's, it's unfair to judge your magic when you perform with a deck like yeah. that. So on us, you're gonna have a deck uh, to you know to practice your moves as you should. Aside from that, uh, we have some some notes. One is uh, just be a more a, a bit gentle with your card handling. But then again, yeah, might, that might be you know. Yeah. I mean, when you try to show, you have to be more smooth. But you know, when you're using a pack like this, yeah, you know, you're just. We understand. Fine. Yeah, this is important. Do not have spectators pick cards. With different methods. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, unless it's justified again, because yeah, the first even, one. Even if it's justified, I mean, if it's justified in your script, yeah. I get it. But since you had no script exactly here, and you know, you had two spectators, and they they pick cards with different ways, it, it looks suspicious. I mean, yeah. why would you do it like this? They should pick with the same method. Yeah, like if you spread the cards and you have two spectators, you, you would normally yeah. go take a card and then you take a card. You would not stop. Yeah. and then do a riffle or something else. So keep that in mind. I understand that some uh, ma magic tricks, you know, 
need that, need another method of mm-hmm. selection, but try to have the same selection for both cards. Uh, at some point, you are doing a, a, a move that lets you take a card out of the deck without them seeing you. Yes. So uh, we, we have to say the name. I mean, you don't have to. Okay. You, have to. you know what the name of the move is. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's free to learn. Yeah. On Magic Stream. Go on Magic Stream. We have the uh, how is it called? Oh, it's it's th- that's the name of the video. Oh, yeah, I guess we can say it. it's called Classic. <laughs> yeah, the, the classic poem from Jeremy, from Jeremy Griffith. Griffith. It's it's free to learn, yeah. and, and you know, learn it. It's it's yeah. one of the most beautiful and most versatile tools you'll ever need in card, card magic. And you know, you have to make it. Uh, you have to master that technique in order to do it well. And Jeremy is a great teacher, so you already it's not you did not do it good at all, but you can certainly improve on it. So yeah, Jeremy absolutely. will absolutely help you do it better. The, the pull you did out of the envelope of the card was... That was very good. Great, yes. great. And we loved how you took a few cards and added them to the... when you spread the cards. Yeah, yeah, you, you picked a few so it can help you speak, uh, pick up the cards so it looks... In the if, middle. Yeah, in but the... yeah, again, because you know, you had such a huge... You got a thousand cards, cards you yeah. Know, yeah. It looks like it did it's not still end on up. top. Yeah, yeah. but... All things considered. All things considered, that yeah. was beautifully made. And and again, we cannot. It's not fair for you to judge you or to even you know review that thing with, with that deck of cards. Yeah. Kudos for making that yeah. uh, to finishing that. Routine. And thank you for your submission. Okay, so this next submission is from Spade, Spade JM. Is this is that his name on the server yeah. as well? Spade no, plays. Spade plays one. Spade plays one. And we wanted to show you that. We'll exp- I'll explain in a second. Watch it. That's enough. It's an amazing video. It's an amazing video. It has great cinematography. The moves you do are extraordinary. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. But there's nothing for us to review here. Because we cannot expose stuff on YouTube, we cannot go through your techniques. techniques. Yeah. Which, by the way, are perfect in this video. (laughs) There's nothing to say about them. But anyway, my point is that Please submit videos that are performances. I mean, yeah. no matter how, how amazing this video is, there's nothing we can actually say on YouTube about it because it's just a, a series of moves one by one and we cannot add or improve on this. So, and there are actually loads of videos like this in the submissions. Oh yeah. Oh, we yeah. have like Ace Productions that are like eight seconds yeah. or... A card Vanish. Eclipse Shift. Yeah. And it's all amazing. Yeah, but we cannot add anything to it. It's just, yeah. you know, wonderful moves. But since we cannot expose stuff on YouTube, we, we cannot help. Yeah, anyway. so please Even... keep in mind, send us routines. Yeah. That's all. Our next submission is from Brad. Okay, here, take any card you want. Memorize. Show it to your friends. Show it to the camera. Good. Take a shot to the camera. <laughs> they love this, huh? <laughs> All right. Got it? Okay. Stick it back? Yeah, throw it back in. Okay, you memorized it, right? Yeah. You've got it? No question, right? No question. Okay, look. We're going to cut the cards a couple times. I'll even do a fancy cut. And then your card... Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's in this half right here. Hold that. Okay, in this half, after all that cutting, 
I think your card is probably in the top top five cards. So I'm going to count off one, two, three, four, five. Tell me if you see your card in these top five, but don't tell me what it was, okay? I'll go slow. One, two, three, four, five. Did you see your card in there? Hold those two. Put that on top right there. Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. So I got it. So it's one of these five. I've narrowed it down. Now watch, because this is really cool. We've got one. <laughs> okay, ready? We've got one, two, three, four, five cards. One of them's yours. I'm going to mix them around a little bit. I think that your card, wait a minute, is on top right here. I think it's the uh, Jack of Clubs. But wait a minute. Don't even tell me yet. Hold those cards in a cage. Keep them in a cage. Watch this card, your Jack of Clubs right here. Look, I take the card like so, and look, invisible, into your hand. Look, one, two, three, four cards. Did you feel anything happen in your hand? Take, open up the cards. Am I far away from you right here? I haven't even touched it. Spread through. I think I did it upside down, didn't I? Because I turned the card around. Oh, spread bro, through, there's, spread there's through. Cards there is no upside down. Oh. All right, I don't, I don't really see it. Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me, dude. That's great. Huh? How'd you do that? Through your hand, man. Yeah. Oh my. Wow, that was that was. Alright, here you go. Thank you so much for the submission. We yeah. that was a good performance. We had yeah. great reactions, but uh, we do have a few pointers. Yeah, know? yeah. So uh, first of all, why is everyone dressed like it's, it's the nineties? Yeah, like, probably some sort of festival. Yeah, something. I don't know what's going on here. And to be honest, you know, when you send this video, try to have a better quality. You know, this yeah. is obviously shot with a potato or something. And we cannot figure out how many cards are you given or taking and stuff. All jokes aside, this is obviously Brad, the founder of Illusionist. And, and there's a reason why you put him yeah. tonight here, because uh, you don't know that, probably. But today, the exact day that this episode airs is the 20th anniversary of the foundation of Illusionist. Yeah. 20 years ago, Brad founded Illusionist by himself. And From his warehouse. Yeah, and look yeah. where Illusionist is today. So I wanted to take a moment and say congratulations and happy birthday to Illusionist and Brad himself. It's time to announce our winner. And it's none other than Kamal Nath. Congratulations, man. Your moves were amazing. The last coin vanished. It took me a while to figure out where the coin went. I still have no clue where it is, to be honest. And Kamal also probably does know because he goes like when he ends the routine. <laughs> yeah. But all jokes aside, wonderful routine. Congratulations. It's a well-deserved win. And you get a $25 gift certificate for the Illusionist site. Now don't forget to use our code DARKROOM to get 10% of everything else you will want to buy from the site. That's it from us. Have a happy new year. Thank you for being with us. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next one.